So for this lab, we're going to need several materials. Um, a light bulb, 150 watt light bulb, and a socket. You can use either the frosted or the unfrosted light bulbs. We're going to need two different clamps that look like this. Um, to set those up really quick here. That screws on like that. And we can set our light bulb up too while we do that. So we'll leave the light bulb set up like that for just a second. We're gonna need a flexible temperature probe. Our LabQuest device, a half meter stick, tape, uh, we're going to need a fan and our globe. Setup, the initial setup, since we have our light bulb set up, I would like your light bulb to be horizontal like this. So if it's tilting at some certain angle, try to make that as straight as possible. The first experiment that we're going to do um, is a northern winter. So part one of this lab is a northern winter. So for northern winter, our Earth's axis as we may have read already read in the topic I book is at a 23 and a half degree tilt so the earth isn't straight up and down it's tilted relative to the Sun at 23 and a half degrees and so when we have a northern winter the North Pole is actually tilted away from the Sun in this experiment our light bulb is going to be the Sun and we want, for the first part, our northern hemisphere to be tilted away from the light bulb. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to find Farmington, Minnesota on the globe here. I would look for Minneapolis because Farmington is obviously not going to be on a globe like this. So I'll go just a little bit south of Minneapolis. I'll put the tip of this flexible temperature probe on here. And I'm just going to tape it to Minneapolis. Just for a little bit of a close up on what this is going to look like, as I said, just a little bit south of Minneapolis, you want to make sure that the whole uh, tip of this probe is exposed. You don't want to cover that up with tape, otherwise your numbers are going to be off and your graph is probably going to look a little strange. And like I said, tilt the globe away for the northern hemisphere. Um, the one last thing that we need to do is we need to adjust the light bulb. So we'll do that right now. Because in the winter, as we may have seen in our iBooks already, um, the most vertical um, southerly rays, sun rays, on the winter solstice don't line up up here in the northern hemisphere. They actually align down here in the southern hemisphere. Um, on the winter solstice, so the beginning of winter, the most vertical direct rays of sunlight actually line up with the tropic of Capricorn um, south of the equator. So I'm going to line my light up so that it's roughly aligned with the Tropic of Capricorn, which looks good. And the very last thing that we need to do um, is we need the distance between our sun and our temperature probe here to be 25 centimeters. So using a half meter stick, we can measure that out.
Okay, so once we've uh, allowed the fan to run for a little bit and we think our um, flexible temperature probe is gonna read an appropriate temperature, um, we're gonna plug in that flexible temperature probe into channel one of our LabQuest device. For both the northern uh, winter and the northern summer experiments, we're gonna be running a time-based LabQuest trial. Our rate is going to be 0 0.5 samples per second. Um, and our duration is going to be 10 minutes. So 600 seconds, 600 seconds. So 0 0.5 samples per second at 600 seconds. Looks good. And so actually, once this is all set up, we should be able to start the first run. I'm gonna hit play. And as soon as I hit play, as soon as I can, I'm gonna turn on the light bulb. Had to plug it in first. And we're gonna let that run for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, I'm going to turn off the light. If you set it to 10 minutes properly, your lab quest should look something like that. Um, so I ran for the whole time from 0 to 600. Um, looks like it went up well, a little less than a degree, which kind of makes sense because the uh, probe is um, pointed away from our light source. We're gonna see how that compares to the summer temperature in the next experiment. Since we're satisfied with what we have for our um, first part, our northern winter, we're gonna start our next experiment, the northern summer. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hit this filing cabinet icon. This is gonna store our um, initial graph um, and create a run two. So you do not, do not start a new um, graph, otherwise you're going to lose that when we connect that to graphical analysis. Um, so make sure, file cabinet, you're going to have a second run, um, and the time constraints should be the same. So everything should be the same. We should be ready now on the lab quest to run the next experiment. But first, we're actually going to have to set up our northern summer. So this is going to be for part two, our northern summer. What I want you to do first, um, since we were just heating this up, um, to keep a consistent temperature, we're going to run the fan for a little bit. So let the fan run for a little bit um, to cool off that temperature before, before we move anything around. All right, so I let my fan run for a while so that I could cool off my flexible temperature probe. The next thing that we're gonna do then is set up the globe for our Northern Hemisphere summer. So like we had the North Pole tilted away for our Northern Hemisphere winter, in the summer, the globe is actually gonna be tilted towards the sun, so our globe I'm just going to readjust the flexible temperature probe really quick, but our the tip of our globe should be pointed now towards our light bulb. So again, should be pretty close to just a little bit south of Minneapolis. Make sure that that temperature probe is exposed um, at the top, at the tip. That's where we actually get um, our temperature readings from. So we're almost set up for Northern Hemisphere summer. The last thing we have to do is realign our light bulb. So looks like my light bulb is still nice and horizontal, but now that my um, North Pole is tilted towards the globe, uh, indicating that we're in the summer months. Um, the direct, the most direct vertical sun rays are actually going to be over the Tropic of Cancer now. So I have this still aligned with what was the Tropic of Capricorn. 
Um, I'm going to find on my globe the Tropic of Cancer. So it looks like I have to raise my light bulb up just a little bit so that it's aligned with the Tropic of Cancer for this experiment. And then I still want it to be 25 centimeters away um, from the probe to the light bulb. So I'm going to adjust this just a little bit um, so that it's closer. And again, just make sure, as best as you can reasonably do, this light bulb should be lined up with the Tropic of Cancer for this experiment. So this setup looks pretty good to me. Make sure that um, your axis here isn't covering up your flexible temperature probe. This shouldn't be under this, otherwise your numbers are gonna be off. Um, if we go back to our LabQuest device, we should actually be able to start. Um, so again, make sure you're in run two. Um, you should have, this should keep your uh, first trial temperature. And I'm gonna push play on this and get my light bulb turned on. And we're going to let this run for another 10 minutes. So this will be our summer trial. Um, so part two, northern summer. All right, after this last 10 minutes, um, I'm going to turn off my light bulb. And you know, when you take this down, uh, make sure not to touch the light bulb. That'll hurt. Um, let's look at our data. So the data looks really good. Oh my gosh, that's a huge temperature change now over such a short period of time, only 10 minutes. Um, so that looks great. So if we want to view our runs together, um, I'm going to click on run two um, and go to all runs. So we can see our um, two plots together. So run one, our winter plot versus run two, that's a pretty big difference. Um, and so after, at that point, we can connect to our LabQuest device. Okay, so I'm gonna go into graphical analysis. New experiment, data sharing. And again, just like the practice lab, if we open up our QR code, Take a picture of that QR code, hit connect. You should see both runs of your data. If you need to, um, it's possible that one of these just became unchecked. Make sure that both of them are checked. Um, so you can either upload that or take a screenshot. This is the picture on your graphical analysis that I wanna see on your um, lab write-up. Um, before you Finish up your write-up, make sure that you um, put away all your supplies, give some time for that light bulb to cool off. Hey, would you look at that? Thanks to Professor Rex, that cleanup barely took any time at all. As always, if you have any questions with the lab procedure or any of the lab questions um, on the lab worksheet, please let me know. This was our Seasons Lab.